While exploring and trying to find out what happened to the Brotherhood of Steel in Appalachia, we entered the town of Watoga and got a miscellaneous quest telling us to reach the mayor's office. At the time, I was obviously invested in finding out what happened to the Brotherhood. Now that I'm free, I'm going to go ahead and go see Municipal Center. Oh! To a toga. Look at government worker. It's hostile to me. The mayor's attacking me. This is kind of like the Grafton mayor all over again. Oh. Oh, and we're back to a point where uh, robots ignore your This is just a thing that happened. I don't know when. One of the patches just made it to where robots don't care if you're wearing armor or not. Population, robots, election today, be sure to vote. Never actually read this sign. This is shopping plaza. So I fell down, and this character doesn't have any jetpack, so I'm gonna get up my own. Still break your armor, too. Oh, more robots. No, oh, thank you. Watoga's Municipal Center welcomes you to the future of democracy. <laughs> Made it past. All right. Now inside the municipal. are scorched here. I guess we'll explore the municipal building in full. Toga's too big of a place to individualize all this stuff. We'll start by going right. Oh! They're out the Watoga Civic Center roof. Restroom. Plumber was working, trying to fix this one up when the bombs fell. Go to the other restroom. Well, there's another person trying to fix one. I think he's trying to fix the lighting. He's on a ladder. And it got a little bear here. Wearing a newsboy cap. Offing the urinal. Okay. We'll follow back here. We can get to the reception area where there's two more scorch. Take care of them. This is the plastic pumpkin. The wind's coming up. Visitor's terminal. And a note about waste baskets. Links to one of the receptionists or the clerks, I guess is the proper term for them now. Waste baskets. I'm sick of waiting. I'm writing down my complaint instead. Hope these robots can read. My complaint is there is that there's no waste baskets in this building. None! 
Why is there a woman here? Oh no, she's probably the one who wrote the complaint. Because Watoga's supposed to be a fully automated city. Source terminal. Welcome, citizen. Watoga's automated civil services have reduced much of the need for government. However, it's assured that a human being is at the helm. Watoga's mayor is one of you, a resident of our city who is given sweeping executive authority Door open and close. It was given sweeping executive authority to settle issues that our beautiful robot helpers just can't reach. Issue a complaint. Our automated system has been alerted, and a civil servant will be dispatched to hear your complaint. Our wait time is 9,959 days. Listen to the mayor. Our automated system has been alerted. A civil servant will be dispatched to schedule an appointment with the mayor. Our current wait time. Our center floor fell out. Let's go ahead and work our way up. Oh, there's a woman here with a baseball bat. Huh. Must have had a very big complaint. machine. No Nuka-Cola inside, so I don't know if it's a functioning Nuka-Cola machine. Go right up this clock. Scorch. Another one from up behind us. So there's a baby doll stuffed into this computer screen. Two bottles and Three bottles and a crayon. And another baseball bat. And a complaints archive tree. Level one lock safe here. This is the way the lock gate should be done. It's probably where those Uh, let's read this complaint archive. Term limit complaint. Transcript of conversation with resident. How can I help you, sir? Yeah, hi. Um, When is the mayor's term limit up? I'm afraid I can't tell you that, sir. The term limits are predetermined randomly. Okay, well, then when is it my turn to be mayor? I'm afraid I can't tell you that either, sir. The mayor is also predetermined randomly. But I get a turn, right? The odds of statistical probability give you a good chance, sir. Executive order. Transcript of conversation with president. How can I help you, sir? Have you seen the latest executive order? No rock and roll music allowed? I'm a musician. How am I supposed to work? I think the current mayor prefers classical music. Perhaps chop chopping. Chopin. I'm supposed to play a concert at the Civic Center on Sunday. Rock and roll concert. I can't go up there and play chopping. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. But the executive order is quite clear. No rock and roll. When's the mayor's term limit up? I'm afraid I can't tell you that, sir. <laughs> the term limit is... The term limits are predetermined randomly. Okay, well, is it my turn to be mayor? I'm afraid I can't tell you that either, sir. The mayor is also predetermined. staff complaint. How can I help you, ma'am? I am. I want to speak to a person. Um, I'm afraid the mayor is quite busy today. I'm not leaving until I speak to a person. I am. I am. I am fully equipped to handle over 10 million varieties of civil service complaints. Surely I can. I want to talk to a person, damn it. Ma'am, please, your disturbance, you're disturbing the other residents. And I must insist you come back at another time. That was my robotic butler voice.
Yes, I guess. Why did I grab that water? So, the mayor is randomly chosen, and they can make any law they want, meaning they can outlaw rock music. Free fly. Fly free. Here I hover in my cell, forcing flies as I rust. The sunlight calls me to its rays. Can I escape? I must. Here no longer can I stay. The world I yearn to see. Fling forth my cell door, kill them all, fly free my friends. It's a poem. But still, I plan on doing a video on using my uh, literary English major skills and analyzing different poems. Because that would be really fun to have to. Because there's so many poems that fall out of my head. So many times. Here, an elevator, functional elevator. There's a woman on a bench. A man that was stealing Nuka Cola, or no, he's refilling the Nuka Cola station. So it was a human that was refilling the Nuka Cola station. As opposed to a robot. There's another terminal right here. Inside, we can see a cab stash. Got 18 cabs out of it. A stack of ramen bowls. Another safe. This is level 3. here. A bunch of toy cars. Another T-locked terminal. Let's go through all this. It's not an MVD. And it's just safety bolts. Well, I already got the safety bolt. So I guess let's get rid of that an elevator in here. Why is there an elevator in here? Oh, because that's how we got in here. <laughs> I forgot we rode an elevator up. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, oh, did they add something new? A basement? I'm getting entirely new. This is a skyscraper. Well, let's go ahead and head on up. We know there's more scorched upstairs. Complaining that it's not us. It's not him? Who knows? But I think you know. safe. This one's level two. Nothing really crazy inside. I think that's it. Here's another corpse. Where? probably knocked over the scene he did so in this room oh, and yeah he knocked them all around he had an explosive it's a court scene um here's a 
skeleton, but uh, this bear was supposed to be sitting in the witness chair as they're doing a trial with a bunch of stuffed animals as the jury, as the witnesses. We don't know who um, who the people were that were being like who the prosecution witness was. But yeah, it's just a nice little uh, nice little bear scene here. One of the biggest scenes you'll you'll see involving an entire room of court people, court animals, court gnomes. There's an alien in the jury. Explosion knocked into this room as well. Now here's our third baseball bat in this location. Find a charisma bobblehead. Another safe. That's the fourth safe. I need to get you some lock picking for a challenge. This building's got four so far. Oh, plus this cell. Oh, and the door at six. And a baseball. Oh, and this door. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> and then a terminal. All that terminal is going to do is open that door. Body parts. And it leads back into this room. Is there a door back here? There was before. So this is the right way in, right? These are the stairs that you came up. I guess just to make sure there's nothing this. Yep. Hmm. Oh no, there's something that's near this end of the top. Of course, because I have so much another new Coca-Cola station. Also empty, because obviously the guy down below didn't manage to didn't manage to fill it up. And there's a skeleton over there at that desk. Creepy. Nothing else of note here. Let's go ahead and go through. Oh, the waste baskets. That's right. Someone was complaining that there were no waste baskets. And they're all in here. All the baskets. All, at last, all the baskets. Well, you succeeded in getting all the baskets in here. got 12 baskets. Did I count that one? 13. 13 baskets. And he has a Teddy Fear. Teddy Fear normally appears around um, unsettling locations. So was this meant to be unsettling? The man with all the baskets. So we'll never know. Here's the third Nuka Cola station. Machine, I mean. Also empty. Here's this room right before the mayor's office. Nothing in here of any note. Congratulations, citizens. 
By mayoral executive order, all individuals of Chen Sui shall have the office of mayor bestowed upon them. I am your mayoral artificially intelligent assistant. You may call me Mara. I'll be your guide through the transition period and your faithful assistant once you get settled. Allow me to play the outgoing mayor's final message. Maya, are you still following the executive order about people who walk in here? Yes. Pull up the pertinent entry from our situation and the saboteur on the mayoral terminal for anyone who walked in here, please. Certainly. Ma'am, sensors indicate you are losing large quantities of blood. Shall I summon a paramedic to assist you? No! What's wrong with you? No more robots! Maya. <coughs> Make sure the next time you see her, it's her. Of course. I am Chloe. Whoever you are, you are mayor of the dead city. Those that I couldn't evacuate have perished. There's no one, nothing left. But I think maybe you're here to greet those from the ashes. <sighs> That's a comforting thought. I managed to squirrel away a cache of resources. But before you can live here, you need to figure out how to deal with the robots. It was sabotage. The terminal entries should explain what... Ma'am, are you all right? I think this is it. My sincerest apologies. I can't be of more assistance. It's all right. <laughs> I, I hope you don't feel too lonely here all by yourself. <laughs> Goodbye, Maya. Goodbye, ma'am. It was a pleasure to serve you. You were an excellent mayor. Well, I certainly tried. End of recorded message. Okay, Maya, you now have quest mayor for a day. I should read through entries on the mayor's computer to learn more about this saboteur. The city is in a state of emergency, and an evacuation order has been issued for human residents. You are, of course, the mayor, so you can do whatever you like. Barbara Elizabeth. Well, we'll take her stuff. Three Watoga, letter to mayor. Mayor Thomas H. Molly, serious. This is for real. Remember that day all the check the chef bots in the entire city? destroying all the food? That was me. The last mayor was about to issue an executive order to evacuate the city. Why won't you believe me? Surely she wrote something down. A draft of the law, perhaps. A journal or something. This whole random mayor's thing is, a really, is really stupid. Did no one run any experiments or simulations on how terrible that idea was? I'll be at the place on Monday. Just be there. Sincerely, Scott. Wow, Sabotar just, Sabotar just gave you his name. Okay. Free Watoga. We toil in their fields. They let us starve. Uh, we fill their coffers with gold. They fill filled our lungs with sludge. We broke our backs. They broke our hearts. We told them of our pain. They hooked us on their painkillers. We voted. They stole our elections. We asked for, for, for fair wages. They let us drive. We demanded safe workplaces. They took our jobs away. We wanted a normal life. They foreclosed our American dream. We were friends. They made us suspicious of our neighbors. They organized. They sent us to die in foreign countries. We proclaimed our humanity. They renounced their own. We were, uh, yeah, we were tired of proud faces of real men and women. They hide behind tin can butlers and plastic faces. They want a world lived in by men. They want a graveyard patrolled by robots. It's time we unite to overthrow them and their soulless machines. Watoga belongs to the people. Free Watoga's People's Party. Okay, 
to the start of the tour. Seemingly. Program the robots to start attacking and killing it. I just don't know why. Confidential. You must have confidential clearance to access this terminal. Read this. High priority. You must have clearance. Okay. Mayor for a day. Evacuations are not going so well. It's complete chaos out there. People got too used to robots and computers doing everything for them. People are liter literally running around on fire out there. I'm doing my best. Really, I'm just a music teacher. I'm not cut out for all this. Once everyone is safely out of town, I'm going to try to, bro to broker a truce with the saboteur. Rumor is his hideout is somewhere in Bogtown. It might just be prejudiced hearsay, but it's a place to start anyway. Things are getting bad, and every time I leave this office, I'm less certain I'll make it back. But someone has to try to hold things together while we get everyone out. And, for whatever reason, fate put me in charge. As a precaution, in case I don't make it back, I've issued an executive order to update the mayor mayoral selection process to simply accept everyone who enters the room as a mayor for a day. I figure that will make it easier for whoever might arrive to help. In the long run, that might be problematic. But we all but we need all the help we can get if we're even going to see a long run. As mayor, you should have access to all the files on this machine. If I don't make it, uh, maybe you can find the saboteur's hideout and put a stop to all this. People are going to need a place, a safe place in the coming months when things inevitably fall. Art. Toga is the perfect place, except for the berserk robots. If you can deal with that, good luck to us all. Barbara Elizabeth, 134th Mayor of Toga. Supply cache. I've managed to squirrel away a small cache of emergency supplies. In case I don't make it, I've instructed Maya to withhold access until the robots have been dealt with. I don't want to waste precious supplies on mere looters. So if you want the supplies, Going to need to help us. Selection committee letter archive. The second of the fourth of February, twenty forty-two, office of the mayor. To whom it may have been concerned, welcome to your new position as mayor of Toga. It's time to get to work. You never know how long you have until the selection process makes a new mayor. It could be a year from now. It could be tomorrow. Some may find these random term limits frustrating. Most will find them liberating. As folks don't know how long you will be in office, you won't be hounded by special interests and corrupt enterprises trying to curry your favor with bribes. You can safely assume people are being honest and truthful with you. How lovely. If you want to issue an executive order, declare a state of emergency, or simply talk to someone who understands the heavy burden of government and government, to Maya, your may mayoral artificial intelligence assistant. Tell her what you want, and she will draft the appropriate leg legislature. She's been programmed full of important and incident information pertinent to the governing of the city. Maya's knowledge in the database comprises of decades worth of carefully curated news articles, court opinions, and legislature all 50 states. And even some older data dating back to the Middle Ages. Oh my gosh, that's not good. If you have a question or are ever confused about a possible course of action, just ask Maya. She'll give you one of the one of three good answers to choose from. But always remember, you are the mayor and are the mayoring and all the mayoring is your responsibility and yours alone. And remember, since no one is the government and no one in the government is elected, and everyone is appointed with term limits decided by the mayor, each mayor is free to hire and fire at his or her own discretion. Furthermore, the Toga Constitution clearly grants the mayor's executive orders the force of law. With a single exception, 
No such law. Congratulations, citizen. By mayoral executive order, all individuals entering this room shall have the office of mayor bestowed upon them. I am your mayoral artificially intelligent assistant. You may call me Mark. I'll be your guide through the transition period and your faithful assistant once you get settled. Allow me to play the outgoing mayor's final message. No, my... I'm still following the executive order of our people who... Uh, uh, and everyone is appointed with t term limits decided by the mayor. Each mayor is free to hire regarded as that. Uh, the Furthermore, the Watoga Constitution clearly grants the mayor's executive orders the force of law, with a single exception that no such law be made that curtails that authority. How's that for a feeling of responsibility? What's next? Relax. The day-to-day -day operations of the city are entirely automated by the sanitation authority and the chief of security. All the small and big functions of running the city cleanly, efficiently, and effectively are all handled by carefully programmed robots. This lets you and your administration focus on the things that matter to the citizens. And as a valued and respected Watogan yourself, you know exactly what those things are doing away with elections, and instead of branding the citizens in good standing to serve as mayor, we have made Watoga the most democratic city in the entire world. Everyone has a chance to run things, not just the politicians. Now it's your turn. You are the mayor now. And yes, you can do this. The inaugural Watoga mayoral selection design committee. Okay, list of pertinent executive orders. There's a list of recent and less recent, but important and or historic executive orders. I will keep this list up to date as best I can. Some of the records I have access to have been corrupted. Database maintenance have been alerted to the problem, but not yet found a solution. My sincerest apologies. Couldn't be more help, more helpful. My transportation authority, uh, preferential treatment act. There's an error, which means yep, it's corrupted. So we won't go through any of those. Dissolution of judicial review patronism act, the right to party act, the rock and roll abolishment act, which we heard about, and then this happened afterwards. So he did end up coming back as the mayor and reinstated. The Mayoral Swimming Pool Rights Act. I believe that was the mayor saying, I can go into anyone's swimming pool that I want. The Dissolution of Cabinet Authority Act. The Dumb Baby Name Prevention Act. Rock and Roll. No, okay, this is the Rock and Roll Establishment Act. So that happened first, causing them to get rid of Rock and Roll. And then the guy brought it back. The Baby Name Freedom Act. Since they wanted to name their children dumb names. Mayoral Order Permanent Act. Mayoral Freedom of Responsibility Act. You can read. Summary. No executive order nor any law, ordinance, rule, or other mayoral pro proclamation or force of law shall be created or enforced in such wise that it would render any previous order, law, ordinance, rule, or proclamation irrevocable, uh, unassailable, unchangeable, or in any way unlimited, unchangeable, curtailable, unadjustable, or unamendable, with exception of this order itself, as well as Executive Order 341. Mayoral Order Permanence Act, upon which this order itself only rests, reaffirms that orders and its own permanence irrevocably and unassailable. So someone tried to be like, I'm the permanent mayor, and it was not allowed. So they made a, a law or an order to prevent that. And that was just a bunch of gobbledygook law, law speech. So that after that, they made the plain speech laws. From now on, all executive orders, any laws or ordinances they create will be written in plain speech. To the talk of the people. No more henceforths and where to fours and forthwiths. And as pertains to 
or as stipulated in paragraph 3.1 in subsection whatever whatevers. Now we talk plain, so normal people can understand things. Okay, the Ice Cream Tuesday. Verbal laws and ordinances. Writing is hard, it takes too long. You never know how long you'll have to be mayor, so every minute counts. From now on, the mayor can make proclamations, orders, ordinances, and laws by clearly speaking them to his or her AI assistant. Maya, I want you to record all that as a law or executive order or whatever I need to say to make it really stick, okay? Certainly, sir. That's all makes sense, right? Yes, sir. Good. Sir? What? You want to exec you want the executive order to be exactly as stated? Or should I edit them into concise, pertinent, and actionable statements? I think it's best not to leave anything to you machine types. I mean, these laws are for humans, so I trust they understand what I mean better than a robot would. No offense. None taken, sir. And what about any clarifying expositional or expos expository discussions or comments surrounding the stating of an executive order? Look, just record whatever the mayor says anything else that comes up while we are discussing it. Exactly? Exactly. Is that too much to ask? No, sir. Good. It's done, then. So she recorded that entire conversation. Okay. Suck it, future mayors. Maya, make it so future mayors can't undo the laws I make, okay? Like, they aren't permanent. Like, they are permanent and can't be changed. Sir, I'm not sure that order is possible. Since Executive Order 341, signed by a preceding mayor, stipulated precisely the same thing in Executive Order 342, established that no executive order, law, or ordinance henceforth could be established. I'm not reading all that. That sucks. Sorry, sir. Well, how about this? Make this an executive order. You must pretend not to hear any future mayors who try to change my laws and tell them to suck it. Certainly, sir. So that worked. You won't be able to change any of my laws, Maya? I'm thinking, sir. So did my executive order go through, or what? It's a rather complicated question, sir. What's so complicated about it, Maya? One moment, sir. I'm conducting extensive review of legal and historical precedents and running fairly complex simulations. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, the executive order stands. Hot oh, damn, suck it, future mayors. <laughs> Mayor for a day. Maya. Can I make an executive order to change how mayors are selected? I don't see why not, ma'am. No one else ever thought of this. Why hasn't anyone tried to do that before? Not sure, ma'am. Well then, make an amendment to the selection process that literally anyone who walks in that door becomes the mayor for the day. All right. Question to clarify. If I might, ma'am, she and she shot her. <laughs> That's why she's bleeding out. What happens if more than one person enters the room in rapid succession or at the same time? Then make them all mayors? Certainly, ma'am. Oh, then make them all mayors. Certainly, ma'am. Oh, one last thing. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you do that thing that other guy tried where you pretend not to hear anyone who tries to change this particular executive order? Certainly. Even me? Of course. Let's try it. Maya? Yes, ma'am? Want to make an executive order making it so that mayors are selected once a week by lottery of all the citizens living in Motoga? I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear you, ma'am. Please repeat yourself. Excellent. I'd give you a high five if you had hands. Thank you, ma'am. That is everything on this term list. Thank you. Yeah. So now we need to go find Scott's hideout. So we can shut these robots down. And he's all the way up here in Bog. Yes. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a lady here and something fell down and crushed her. That's another baseball bat. Oh, she's probably coming to this man who took all the bins and she was gonna she was gonna beat him to death with a baseball bat. You need a baseball bat. There were like five here. I was going to drop down there, and then I realized I don't have a jetpack in this character. So I guess we're going to head to the abandoned bog town. I'm going to cut it here. If anything interesting happens along the way, I might. 
add it in there. Okay, we've made it to the abandoned bog town. I went through the uh, the under the bridge area. Or the road, not under the bridge. Yeah, we've made it here. We need to find his his home. What was that? Oh, oh! I walked right past. Oh! Odd that he calls the dog his brother. It's pointing us in this direction. Or that way. Okay. So we're not going to worry about any of that. This house. Oh! There's a bear trap. This must not. Oh, he did have ammo. Why didn't he shoot it? Is that Scott guy's house? There's not much inside of it. He's got a trailer in his garage. Private property, no trespassing. side. Oh, there he is, Scott Turner. Let's see it down there. Letter to the mayor, letter to mom, letter to Sandy. 64 free Watogas. Three more right there. Letter for Jenica. Wow, there's a lot of letters from this guy. Um, I guess we'll start with Operation Free Watoga Log 322. Two, two? It's done. I broke the transmission sequencer, so no one will be able to remotely reconfigure the machine. I also corrupted the software update terminal throughout the facility. The only machine capable of creating updates is now in my office. I've locked my terminal and wrote a little fix to the building's badge access software to prevent any badge other than my own from accessing it. But they won't be able to get help from anyone else. Only I and only me can get her. Salvation. Soon, they'll come down My resident application fitness report. And then I'll deny every last one of them. <laughs> See how they like it. The judge will be locked out in the cold. Okay. So he locked everyone out of Watoga. Or he was going to lock everyone out of Watoga because they locked him out of Watoga. So he had to live in this abandoned bog town. Or it was just bog town at the time. Well, he has last words. We'll do that last. Letter from Jenica. Scott, what the hell? You were serious? I thought you were just talking shit. Uh, how could you do that? All those people. The world is literally ending. We all need to stick together if we're going to make it. 
Everyone's hair is falling out. There's, their eyes are bleeding or worse. And the only hospital for miles is in Watoga. What have you done? I hope you die. You're a monster. Whatever. To Jenica. Jenica, you somehow get this. You know how sorry I am. I'm deeply sorry. I am a monster. It's true. I did it because I believed in a world where all men and women would be equal. I was trying to make that world come true. At least in Watoga. If there's no people left alive, that's not the equality I meant. But how was I supposed to know the bombs were dropping the very next day? But that's no excuse. Even if the world hadn't ended, what I did was wrong. I know that now. I've been stricken with paralysis. I think it's neurological. It happened after a night of ringing in my ears and intense headaches. I can't move my legs, but it's getting harder to breathe. But I wanted to write this in case you came by to check on me or to murder me. Either way, it doesn't ma matter much. I've signed all our death warrants. I'm truly sorry. Scooter. My name is Scott Scooter. Go ahead and take his Robco research facility. We had another letter. We had a letter to the mayor. Which we've already read this. This is the same one. He has a letter to Mom. Mom, I know you don't believe it. Uh, you don't believe it will ever happen, but it will. I'm getting closer. I was able to get all the chef bots to pepper bomb all the food in the entire city. When I can crack the emergency service protocols, then the revolution will begin. When it's done, I want you to move to Watoga. If Dad doesn't want to come, fine. Let him rot in that other bed. You deserve better. Scooter. Letter to Sandy. Sandy, you're back in. Meet me around back of the facility uh, after hours. I'll sneak you in and record your likeness back into the program. Next time, don't be such a jerk. Scott. So we don't know what that means because we don't know who Sandy is. We've already read the free Watoga. We don't get the saboteur's password, even though it's a level zero lock save. Scooter. Head editorial of Allegheny Asylum. Does this have anything to do with Scott? It does not, so we're not going to read that. Do not grant anyone the right to look through the contents of this device. You must have a warrant to access this machine. Go in order. So starting here, the 12th of the 26th of December, 1976. Okay. Thought about what you said last night. I'm in. We need a better name. No one is going to care if they think it's just the three of us. We need a name that makes it sound like a real movement. How does... Free Watoga people's parties. Free as in freedom. Who doesn't want more of that? And people. Because it's time we the people actually take a stand against all these damn robots taking over everything. Party. Like we're a legit force. We know how to organize. And also, it's like we know how to party. Like last night. I had no idea you could dance like that. Remind me to get you drunk more. Okay, 15th of January, 2077. Sorry, man. I know you really wanted to bring Keith into the fold. He can't be trusted. Not yet. He might agree with our principles, but he doesn't have the stomach for what needs to happen. Not yet, at least. Once the party takes off, once we have something to show, then maybe. Uh, but until then... He's more of a liability than an asset. <laughs> Maybe you are starting to rethink that whole, this is a democracy thing. This one is encrypted. Oh, it's just his uh, draft of the, the thing, the letter. The 12th of February, 2077. It's okay, a little wordy, but it gets the job done. I still think People's Party is a little too commie for my taste, but we voted. I'm still a believer in democracy, so I'm still going to print these at work. 
or do I need to acquire printer ribbons from someone? 24th of April, 2077. Turner, where the hell are you? I know the world's gone crazy, but we need you here. Please, if you get this, come in. Uh, this is the safest place around them for miles. Certainly safer than that rusty tin can you call a home. Something's gone terribly wrong at Watoga. All the robots have gone offline, or, if those insane reports are to be believed, they all went berserk and are killing everyone. It's not just our bots, it's all of them. So it must be something with the universal control protocols, but we can't seem to revert to earlier updates. You are our best programmer. We fired you, though. Hell, you wrote most of the control protocols yourself. We need you. I tried to get into your office, hoping I'd find something helpful on your terminal, but none of the department badges work. It says there's been some kind of screw-up, and only your badge will get us in. Why they can't just override that, I don't know. Rob Co. IT, the best and brightest in the industry, right? Look, just get here if you can. If not, be safe. K. Hager. Okay. Grab that password. Dear future self, in case you get drunk and forget again, this is your pass, your work password. And then he's playing, um, um, oh, what's it called? Space Invaders. Do I have to grab one of these to count? No? Oh, I know Last Words is one of them. What's the other piece of evidence? Am I missing something? ones inside the desk. I'm seeing if there's any notes inside there. What is the other evidence that I'm missing? I guess we'll just listen to last words. I, I don't have much longer. Had I known, I never would have. But it's too late now. Okay, but there's one more clue here. I don't know what it is. It can't be this. I'll grab it anyways. We did all these. Crack the safe? No? There's 
nothing else here. What am I missing? Oh, gosh, didn't even see that. This car. I've looted everything in this room. I mean, like now, I have now looted. Nothing. I can't move on to the next step till I find the other piece of evidence. What am I missing? Give me one sec. looked up what the five clues are. The other one is this. But it's not counting it. So it's it's the letter from Jenny. Last words hollow tape, and then the other hollow tape, that one and that one. The password, which I have. Two of. And then the encrypted message terminal. I don't know which one it's not counting. Um, so I guess I'm going to break here for the three logs. I had to replay back up to this point on a different character because it was just glitched out. Luckily, I have two characters who have not done uh, Mayor for a day. Talk to us. Good. Find the clue. So the clues are that hollow tape, that hollow tape, password, the key card, and the terminal. First time I did it, the terminal is the one that glitched out. So I'm not going to grab the password before doing the terminal. Uh, and then every other time after that, when I relogged, these two hollow tapes weren't spawning. So then the terminal was working. already listened to everything. We're not going to listen to it. done. I broke the transmission sequencer, so no one will be able to remote. Oh, no, don't tell me that. I also... Okay. Both holotapes are working. Key card. It's three. This 
this journal entry is four. All right, can we get back on track? Password is five. Nice. Okay, investigate the saboteur's work terminal. I, I went through all of this, I hope. Right? I went through all these letters. Went through all these journal entries. I think I went through all of this. Okay, his work terminal is all the way up here at Rocco Research Center. We're just gonna fast travel there. So small, so brief. There we are. Now that we're back on track quest done Approach and identify yourself. <clears throat> oh this character oh this character needs to live in power armor that ain't good that ain't good at all <laughs> a lot of robots during mayor for a day. We need to get to the Saboteur Scott Terminal. So we're not going to explore all of um, Rothko Research Center. Anything of note on this Asphalt Quest. It does explain more about Watoga and why Watoga Might actually explain why we need this one. Financed by Atomic Mining Services, the Toga Project aims to create a city of the future. Right here in Appalachia, all the civil services and municipal management needs will be handled uh, by a variety of Robco and General Atomics International robot models. The Ro Robco Protection and General Atomics. And electronics. There's so many robots in this next room. And turrets. What does this character have to, to work with? What is this? I'm trying to figure out what those turrets are. Protect me. There we go. This might actually work out. The turret's out of the way. There's also a Robo Brain War Mine down here. spawn one. Saw that coming. Oh! Kill. Kill. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. Spawning in. Identify yourself. So 
I'll just do it myself. Shot by something else? No, just one robot. I made the mistake of standing right where I can shoot it in the leg. Earth! The character that I'm playing as is a Nuka Cola addict later. Um, that's why I have a lot of Nuka Cola gear. You could run. Trying to kill you, you know. Gets us in here. Let's go ahead and close this. So this is um, most likely Sandy, and this is, I think, one of the bosses because Sandy had to tell them what was going on. We'll uh, we'll go through. Um, Rob Co. as you're seeing. Get rid of that green tint. Uh, scan the likeness. No, let's go ahead and go to the last message that connects back to the uh, saboteur's terminal. I didn't read the date. Uh, it was April 13th. 77. Hello! Friendly reminder that staff are not to conspicuously wear their badges at all times. This means you. It doesn't matter what department you work in, how long you have been here. You are part of parked or full time. If your name is on a door, or if you have a reserved parking space. Everyone must comply with this rule. See your staff policies and guidelines. Page three for details. As always, Hesitate to call if you have any questions. Thank you to Mayor Mark, Mara Mike, Mitchells, Kells, HR, Extension of the Company. 5th of May, 2077. Scott, congratulations. I took your proposal to the directors. It was nearly unanimous approval. The loan hold out will surprise you. I promised them this was strictly an after hours side project. No way impact your regular daily duties. You did, however, leave out the fact that you are planning to work on this from home. I trust you have appropriately secured your terminal and are only allowing encrypted communication between your home and your terminals. I had a friend in legal uh, discreetly look into your employment contract. It looks like you were hired back in the cowboy days. You're effectively grandfathered in. But... Let's not go advertising what you're doing. We can't afford to raise any red flags and have HR want to renegotiate all our contracts. Good luck. And don't forget who your friends are running this place after your invention makes a million dollars. Lisa M. Fields, Director of Staff Insight for the Rao Nonprofit Research Facility, Virginia. Extension 551. 4th of June, 2077. Turner, what are you doing with the, that camera? I heard a rumor you are writing a program to scan faces with that thing. Is this another side project with Robco or Robco sanctioned? And why do you get to do the do side projects anyway? He. Shut the camera. 12th of September? I'm about to send you an unofficial an official message. Don't reply with anything stupid, alright? Think it through carefully and send it. Uh, the same day. It has come to the board of directors' attention. You might know personally one or more of the protesters which have been harassing military convoy deliveries. If this is true, the board would be very interested in appreciative of your sharing any information you might have you might have regarding the increasingly embarrassing incidents in Sandy Fields. And we 
no, it was actually ah. and Sandy and Janica, someone else I don't remember. Scan likeliness. Oh, the camera is pointing towards me. For some reason, I think the camera was pointing in a different place. That's it. We should be good now. Head back to the mayor. Not exactly sure what to do with this virus holotape. That Maya will have some idea. I should take it back to her and see what she thinks. Wait, because I didn't kill any of the robots in here. There we go. Future of democracy. Scorch just glitched out. Devo's in. Well, let's just go ahead and run it from my end. It's over with. There's no enemy spawn on this floor, so if I'm in danger, that's because they are supposed to be zoning in with me. I think I'm good. Hey, Maya. Ah, what happened here? Ma'am, this is a citywide software update for all municipal robots. This needs to be uploaded and broadcast from the uplink tower on the roof. Once you arrive there, I'll guide you through the process over the intercom system. I would call a maintenance crew to do this for you, but as I understand it, they would just murder you. And I, to my never-ending chagrin, was constructed lacking hands, so I'm afraid you'll need to do it yourself. You can conveniently reach the roof from this office. My sincerest apologies. I can't be of more assistance. No, it's okay, Maya. You haven't tried to kill me, so I am okay with that. Let's land ourselves a new controller. I'm also, I was doing this in a world because I didn't want it to glitch out a second time. I believe I have unlimited mines. I'm only going to throw down two because I know I, I at least own one plasma and one pulse. I'm 
not going to throw any more down. Because I didn't realize the world that was currently up is empty. Okay. But as soon as I start this, I'm going to be attacked. Portoga Robotic Update Broadcast Tower. Yada yada. Cold shoulder. I don't know why I'm bothering to have a grab a camera. Getting shot at. I think that's the robots down below, like on the ground. Oh no, it's a Scorch Beast came here. I believe it's a scripted Scorch Beast is going to attack. There's nothing here. Better roll this desk. What? Why does this one got a name called Federalist's Desk? Belonging to a Federalist. Yep, this is the Scorch Beast's nest right here. Baby. Death claws. There's three skeletons here. Oh, there's four skeletons here. Five. Yaguai and a Brahmin. Seven. But hey, at least I don't gotta fight it, right? What? I already had the upload process started. Security shut it down. I didn't even realize security shut it down. That's why I heard robots. But they didn't actually fight. Wow, I like how like a bunch of those bullets went straight on through. Shut it off. I'm just gonna stay right here, I guess. Is Scorch Beast still here? They're shooting at the uh the super mutants. Just get inside some power armor, right? I'm just not that smart. Step forward and identify yourself. Hello? No 
Someone's got to be one that's on the ground, right? Because... What do you mean quest started? Oh my gosh, come on. Yes, I lost my, my armor. I don't have to worry about a Scorch Beast as far as I know. So it's just two more minutes. I'm not too big on all these time limit things they have in the game. Just because, like, it's a lot of waiting around for nothing. Not enough robots spawning. Scorch Beast is. I don't care if that, that got killed before it reached here. This character's not really made for fighting them at the moment. It's like a five minute wait time. Like, I kind of go over this in the event called. What's it called? Death Blossoms? How it has. Uh, seven minute prep time before a ten minute event like you have to activate it wait seven minutes then do the event it's just way too long and unnecessary no 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 oh I'm gonna have to restart this whole thing because I won't be able to get up here in time to freaking kill that robot. That's... Are you freaking serious? That's so stupid. Which is why I think the wait time, the five minute times, any of these events or quests that have time limits, are just so dumb. Obviously, if I have to wait five minutes, I'm going to just stop it and pick it back up from where it left off. And I'm most likely going to have to do that. wouldn't have been a problem if it would have just not glitched out the other character who was made I guess not made but his whole playthrough was to do all these quests this one I don't think she's done really any quests she's just traveled the entire map open Let's see what it says Stop it here. I gotta go another five minutes of this. Okay. Back to where we were at.
Four seventy six. else to say? No. Yay! All that for that. But we did get a unique sledgehammer called the All Rise. It's 90% less weight. Ten, plus 10 health, 20% crit chance, or chance to cripple a target. That's it. That was uh, Mare for a day.